how to use podio for project management hello guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use podio for your project management needs and how you can manage everything across your workflow to your uh, automations and to your tasks on podio.com so let's get into the video so here you can see that this is the main page of podio.com you can access it by writing podio.com on url bar or you can just go on to google and search for that so here you can see that you can get your team working in synchronization, build powerful low-code business solutions to customize work and communication. So Podio is a really great platform. You can drive your project forward successfully. It has easy administration, fast communication, and custom structure for you to use. And you have a chance to light dependability you can trust to run your business and the components you need together on one tool. You have web and mobile, social collaboration, unlimited storage, personal dashboards, connected CRM, calendar, data visual visualization meetings schedule, schedule automated workflows and much more so how you can get started with podio it's very easy you can just click on you can just enter your email and start a free version or you can just also go on and sign up from this option i'm just going on to and sign up and i'm going to sign up on podio.com so here you can see that i have to add in my email then i have to add in my full name then i can create my password so these are all the fields that i have to fulfill let me just do that really quickly and then i'll get back to you guys Okay, so here you can see that now I have to, they are welcoming me and I have to add in all of these de details. I work at, I have to name my company, then what does your company do? You have to select an industry, then I have to, how do you intend to use Podio? How many employees are in your organization? And then lastly, I have to add in my phone number and then I'm going to create my account. So I'm just going to add in all of those fields and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so here you can now see that this is the main board or you can say main dashboard of Podio. And now I have entered, uh, these are the three scales that uh, my projects are divided into. Basically, my tasks are divided into. So uh, in the first, I have the tasks that are entered. Then I have the tasks that are in progress. And then there is a board for the tasks that have been completed. So if you want to add a more section, more sections to this board, you can just go on and add more sections. It's completely up to you. Like if you want to add a section for the tasks, tasks that are stuck or that are not getting worked on by some or because of some problem or something like that so you can add a new board for that but uh, other than that these are the three main boards that they have provided us now if you want to add a new task or a new project you just have to click on this option which says add project and it is going to take you to the site where you are going to generate the new project um, okay so here you can see that now first of all i have to add in the title of the project let's say i want to add a test project okay so next thing is the deadline what is will be the deadline when will you need this project to be completed so right now today is 13 so i'm just going to add the deadline as 15 and and then there is an r and minutes i'm just gonna say like 12 am okay that's good then you have who's responsible for the task i'm the only member that is right now in my workspace so that's why i'm just going to add this uh add myself as a member then i have to add uh, you can add more responsible people as well then you have the status you ha have is it entered is it in progress or is it completed i'm just going to enter uh, say that it is in progress then if you have to attach any files with that specific project you can just go on and drag or drop files to upload and you can just go on and attach the files to this specific project and after that you have tags you can type and search any tags like if you have website team marketing team or they have, this is these are the examples or if you have any software team or it is related to any kind of team uh, or if you it is it has some kind of keyword search that will be used by you the members of your uh, you know workspace that are going to look up to that task you can just add it here and after that click on the save project and the project will be saved in your boards that you have assigned it to for example here you can see that that in the in progress my test project is now viewable so now these are the projects that have been added in etc if you want to switch the layout from kanban or card to a badge you are going to review all of the your projects like this like all the projects are gonna be in badges and the status will be written in a block like that if you want to switch the layout to table then they are going to be represented in themselves as a table here you can see that you have a section for the title then a deadline responsible persons and the status that is if you want to switch the deadline to activity you can do that as well and they are going to be uh, like activities and if you have another there is another uh, view available as well like the calendar the calendar is going to be uh, represented in all the projects that are uh, designated on a specific date are going to be uh, you know are going to be highlighted on the calendar so i'm just going out uh, 
on with the table or the card because those are more easy to manage so i'm just going to go on with the you know table uh, view and then you can see that you have case report you have to create report you can see that report data you can count or calculate and items per report you're going to be like relationships category status or what are you going to calculate in the report just click on next and then you can report display choose a title for the report display i'm just going to say that you, this is a test report and then you have to add a unit choose a unit of of, uh, you know the report and then you have to app reports and you can just go on and save reports of the specific data so after that you have all of these options right here as well let me uh, walk you through these first of all you have an activity okay so in the activity you are going to have all of your work and your main dashboard you have project management one project management tasks are zero the calendar and all the projects that you have so it is basically going to be the whole activities that is happening around your workspace so you can just go on and check your day-to-day -day activities and track your day-to-day -day activities directly on the activity dashboard you don't have to go uh, separately into each of the tasks or you don't have to go on and take uh, you know look at each of the things separately because everything is going to be represented right here then you have your projects that we have already seen then you have your deliverables deliverables are the things that you need to you know you have to get delivered in a specific time so deliverables are going to represent themselves as the time is approaching like for example if there is something that you need to deliver by tomorrow then you're going to see the first at in deliverables if you're going to if you have something that you need to deliver next week then you are going to see it uh, a little bit later than others so deliverables you're going to see all of the things that you need to get ready and you need to deliver then you have your meetings in your meetings you are going to organize if you have any meetings with your teammates with your workspace members with your uh, officials with your superiors your clients whoever this meeting is you can just add a meeting to your uh, you know to your project management workspace and whenever the meeting is uh, approaching or something related to meeting is happening you are going to be notified i'm just going to click on this option which says add a meeting and i'm going to add a meeting and i'm going to show you guys how it's done so to add a meeting you just have to ha add the headline let's say um, discussion this is the name of my meeting and then i have the time you have to a lot of time for that meeting the date is going to be um let's say what is it is 13 to this let's say the date is going to be 14 and the time is going to be 12 okay meeting is going to end at 14 as well and 1 a.m that's good like one hour meeting is uh, due and then you have your attendees uh, i'm the attendee and other than that i don't have anyone add well, add the agenda you can add the paragraph of the agenda of the meeting then you have the location of the meeting is it online or is it going to be you know going to happen somewhere physically then you have add minutes if you have done your meeting already you can add the minutes or the notes of the meeting what has been discussed in the meeting who was uh, in the meeting and what was the outcome of the meeting then you have lit related project which meet, uh, project was the meeting related to you can uh, relate the project to related if de deliverables if you have any files or in deliverables that were related to the meeting you can add them here then you have your files then you have your tags after that click on this option and save the meeting and the me all the meeting minutes and everything will be saved in your meeting template if you want to modify this template just click on this option to modify template and the template will be modified you can add more things into it as well like headline time attendees if you want to add relationship you have member phone number link image money etc so these are all the things that you can add into your template and you can uh, basically add in those details as well when you are making the whole meeting setup okay guys so this was it for today's video i hope i was thorough and i hope i was a big help to you please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you